Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing well and having a great day. In this video, guys, I would just like to explain how to calculate your mining profitability. So this is just going to be a pretty general, one of the simple videos I hope to uh, go through for you guys. Now, this video is meant for newbies and new people coming into the space. And I've been getting a lot of questions uh, like Red Panda, how much how much does this mining rig make for me a day? Or is it is it profitable to mine with this or this? You know, and I, I I'm gonna make this video for those people. And I know a lot of a lot of people who watch me right now are I have a lot of hardcore miners, but um, I also have a lot of new new miners coming into the space. So. For the regular people, please please bear with me, and uh, uh, you can just close this video right now if you'd like. But uh, <laughs> I would I would I would love for you to stay and watch. So uh, for for the new people who are watching me, let's let's go through. Okay, guys, I'm gonna help you guys um, calculate your mining profitability, and uh, there's gonna be a few ways. So I'll show you how to do that. So you guys understand now um, uh, the reasoning for most people now coming into the space and seeing Bitcoin price going up and uh, you're depending on your cost uh, your electrical cost um, you're, you're gonna be profitable I would say a lot of a lot of people a lot of people um, in the world uh, is profitable because uh, the, the price of Bitcoin uh, and as well as as all the other altcoins altcoin prices are going up as well so um, if you're mining Ethereum, for example, um, you, you can be profitable because also that the the difficulty rate of the coin is also is also half of what it used to be at the all time high. So um, let's go through. So for you new people, what to mine? OK, what to mine is a, a generally good website to figure out the average uh, of what your mining rig or just a single GPU can make. OK. So say, for example, said say you have a uh, six RX 570s, okay? Specifically, six RX 570s. You go to what to mine. You uh, you you click on six of them, and you you put in your cost per kilowatt hour normally. So let's just say you have ten cents per kilowatt hour, and you hit calculate, okay? So that's what normally. Oh, I didn't enable all the hash rates, so I'm just going to do that right now for this example. Uh, there we go. I had to make sure they're all blue. Uh, for, for you guys, it would probably already be enabled. And then you hit calculate, and you will get the regular... Okay, so 6x570 six by, six by 70 rig will make, after 10 cents a kilowatt hour, uh, $2.09 mining Ethereum. Okay? And on nice hash, <laughs> it shows... Two dollars and twenty-one cents. Okay, so a little bit more profitable, uh, according according to what to mine and the selected exchanges and whatnot. So, I, I would like to dive deeper into this. I would like to help. I would like to help you newcomers uh, understand that you can actually uh, figure out more in depth of uh, you know entering in your algorithm, entering entering in the hash rates you actually get for your mining rig. Because this six by five seventy rig, you, it's not one hundred and sixty seven. Let me tell you that right now. You can you can actually get one hundred and eighty. Okay, so you can actually enter that in, and seven twenty watts. You know, it, it really depends. You have to calculate by at the wall wattages. So if you have a kilowatt or a watt meter, you can you know you can enter in how much exactly wattage you get, and then you can see uh, in terms of a twenty four hour period of how much you make a day. So. Um, and that's assuming you do sell your coins um, daily, okay? So really, for the for the people who are are doing are, are understanding that you're calculating this because you're wanting to get that profits, and if you sell at the end of the day, so I have a little document here um, to calculate mining profitability, guys. I'm gonna I, I'll 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 go through this here. You guys can read this, but um, number one, you have to know your specific GPU model. And the hash rates okay so if you really want to if you really want to um, calculate profitability you have to know your just jot down in an Excel file how much hash rate you get and and your GPU model and um, actually you probably don't really need a GPU model because we're gonna enter the hash rates manually 
and then you need to know the algorithm and the coin that you are mining okay so just jot down the hash rate you're getting on that certain coin and then you have another coin that you potentially want to mine so jot down that hash rate for that and the coin for that uh, so you can differentiate and then um, either uh, check the exchange that you use for the uh, prices or you can just use the uh, average uh, uh, sp uh, average um, exchange price on the specific calculator website. Uh, example, what to mine? Uh, I showed you guys. They have the uh, uh, selected exchanges here. They have Binance, BitPhoenix, uh, Crypto Bridge, Gate.io, HitBTC, Trade Ogre, Poloniex. Okay, the these are on what to mine only has about nine exchanges. Okay, so it doesn't have like Coinbase or. Um, many other uh many other mark many other exchanges there's hundreds hundreds of other exchanges so around the world you guys um really it, 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 you you have to uh just uh take that with a grain of salt um the prices can be different uh, depending on what what type of exchange you use and the tool that i use to use that i just go to coin market cap and you go into your specific coin um, example I just did uh, Ethereum but um, let's just go to Monero for example and you go to markets tab and you can see all the different exchanges that trade XMR into BTC which uh, XMR into into BTC uh, into BTC for all coins is what calculates profitability okay uh, now you and the fourth the fourth number here is that you need your uh, electrical electrical costs okay can't, you cannot forget that because unless you have free electrical costs, then you don't need this point number four. But um, for people that pay out of their pocket for electrical costs, you have to you have to jot that down, okay? And um, I, I really I really want to I really want to stress t for all you new for all you new miners out there, um, all coin calculators translate into Bitcoin price, okay? In order to calculate profitability in a 24-hour period okay I can't stress that enough just make sure you guys are understanding that that every time you use a coin calculator they are calculating your hash rate on that coins specific price let's just say Ethereum and then it's, it's exchanging that Ethereum into Bitcoin and then the Bitcoin's price into fiat okay so make sure you understand that and uh, most of them really do it by day and daily okay so make sure you have those terms down pat 24 hour uh, period or daily or by day and then there's some that do show by week or month but I, I really don't follow that if you were to do 24 uh, calculate by profitability daily because the price of the coin changes every day and you know with Bitcoin uh, with cryptocurrency in general uh, the volatility of coins are all over the place right guys so uh, take that as you will, please. Um, that's just that's just. Uh, I wouldn't really follow by week or month. Okay, that's just because uh, the market's so volatile. Okay, so I explained that. Now uh, let's uh, now let's go back to what to mine. Okay, now I'm gonna use my Radeon Seven for example. Okay, uh, I have my profitability. I have my exact mining hash rates uh, on a spreadsheet I have saved. And if we go to what to mine, uh, what to mine has recently added the Radeon 7 actually. And as you can see, they have the ETH hash here at 78 mega hash and at 230 watts. Now, if we go to my document, it shows that I have, oh, this is actually wrong. I've been getting uh, 90 mega hash now at 280 watts. I, <laughs> I fixed that. So uh, I'm actually getting 90 mega hash at 280 watts at the wall. And, um, let's just change that so differentiate we're getting about 12 mega hash more than what what to mine is showing uh, but then I'm getting 280 watts at the wall I believe the what to mine is showing at the card only so that was 230 watts at the card only but I'm also factoring in the uh, wattage of the motherboard the power supply the riser and all that good stuff so uh, you, you cannot forget that guys um, it's always good to calculate the whole system so that you you uh, can calculate uh, depending on your kilowatt per hour okay so I have 90 90 mega hash for ethereum and then 280 watts 
And now if we go, I'm going to just add in uh, the Kryptonite R algorithm. So I'm actually getting uh, two, uh, two, 2,841 at 230 watts. So let's enter that in. 2,841 at 230 watts at the wall. And then uh, let's just add in um, as well uh, Vertcoin. So 92.7 mega hash at 270 watts. Oops. Uh, Lyra Rev, well, Lyra Rev three. That's Vertcoin ninety two point seven at, um, what did I say, uh, two seventy watts. Okay, and then my kilowatt, my cost per kilowatt hour is zero point zero seven seven USD. Okay, so this website is calculated in USD. So make sure you put in your proper uh, kilowatt hour, and then sort by profitability twenty four hour average last twenty four hour. And uh, selected exchanges, I, I generally, I mean, BitPhoenix, Binance, uh, Poloniex, these are really the only ones you can add. So uh, Trade, Trade Ogre seems to be pretty profitable. I don't know Exmo. I don't use Bittrex. I don't, I don't use Crypto Bridge or uh, that often. So, or I don't use BitPhoenix. So I'm just gonna use the ones that I use. I really don't use actually. But I'm just gonna show you guys. Just for example, you can. You can add out and minus these out if you'd want. And then you just hit calculate. And you can see here my Radeon 7, most profitable coin to mine on my Radeon 7 in a 24 hour period, guys. Okay, in a 24 hour period is going to be Ethereum. And specifically on nice hash. <laughs> uh, so take that as you will. And you can see, uh, yeah, that you can exchange. Um, uh, your Bitcoin into fiat, which is a dollar sixty a day for my Radeon Seven specifically, and uh, I'm not gonna give you guys my personal uh, thing that I'm doing, like either accumulating lower cap coins due to lower difficulty, uh, or doing a 24 hour period. I, I I don't have time to calculate um, 24 hour period, but uh, for you newcomers. Maybe you guys do. Maybe you guys want to, right? Because if you want to get that profitability, you want to get that dollar sixty out every day, okay? And uh, you have to pay the rest of your electrical bill. You have to minus out your electrical bill, right? So, if you had free electricity, I would be. If I had free electricity, I'd make. I'd be making two dollars and twelve cents a day, okay? So, I, I hope. I hope. I really hope this helps out you newcomers. Uh, just to understand that you should really be adding in your specific algorithm and specific hash rate and your wattage and your kilowatt per hour and uh, by exchange and um, there's other resources that you can use I, I haven't I haven't gone out to show you guys that but there's um, coin wars um, coinwars.com has uh, this wonderful website you can just enter in the coin uh, specifically that you'd like to uh, calculate profitability on um, this is a really good site if you if you like a certain coin and you can just just type in the coin that you'd like. They don't have all the coins on here, but they have most of them. And uh, check out coinwars.com. Another really cool website I've been using lately is Minerstat. Minerstat's uh, mining dash calculator. Um, they have the AMD, Nvidia, and ASIC, A A ASIC, ASIC uh, profitability on here. And it actually is quite a bit different from what to mine. So they'll show a, sometimes show a different um, profitability uh, on uh, different algorithms than what Mutt to Mine shows. Uh, so if you're into that, into more lower cap coins, check out Minerstat. It's actually pretty good. And then um, another tool I'd use, guys, is Masari.io. I've been using Masari.io on chain FX slash on chain FX. Uh, this is just really good to gauge um, what coin is doing well in the past year. And um, I would I would say like you know which coin you want to mine we don't really know in the next coming year but um, uh, from the all down from all time high for example uh, Raven Coin's been doing really well right so Raven Coin's been doing really well uh, Bitcoin number eleven so from the all time high down from all time high from twenty k Bitcoin is is performing better than um, Litecoin it's performing better than um, Ethereum. Ethereum is down here, number 29. So um, you can see here, percentage-wise, 57% Bitcoin. Um, Ethereum, 81% down from all-time high. So um, take that with a grain of salt, you guys. Do your own research. I'm not. This is not financial advice, whatever. Not mining advice. I'm just showing you guys 
um, what you could be mining and calculating profitability. And as, as the markets are going up, guys, as things are becoming more profitable, depending on your electrical costs, but I would say most electrical costs, it is profitable, people are coming back into mining. Look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin is steadily still rising in terms of hash rate, and I don't see it stopping. And with Bitmain coming out with new miners, uh, it's, it's, it seems like uh, cryptocurrency is still going on the up and up. So, um, okay, so that, that's really it, guys. Um, let me know what you think. And if that does any justice for you new miners, um, calculating by 24 hour. And um, yeah, if this, if this helped you out or not. And for the people who stayed and for the regulars, let me know if, I'm, uh, if this is totally wrong. And uh, yeah, I, I, I probably am. So <laughs> uh, just kidding. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Smash that like button. Subscribe. I, I appreciate all of you who watch me day in and day out. I hope I help you guys in some form or fashion um, and uh, I can help most of you. So uh, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.